world, this is CS50, Harvard University's introduction to the intellectual enterprises of computer science and the art of programming. Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. My name's Sunny, if you're new. And in today's video, I tried Harvard University's free online course called CS50. It's the introduction to computer science. It's in conjunction with Yale. It's completely free as long as you have a internet connection and a computer, then you can do this course, which is crazy to me. It's exactly the same course that they teach at Harvard University. It's taught by David Mallon. He's an incredible lecturer. He's super enthusiastic. You can tell that he's passionate about what he's teaching and he makes the content very enjoyable and and fun and I honestly really loved learning from him. I decided to do this course because I've always kind of been interested in computer science but I've never really gotten around to learning about it. So this video is a review of CS50 and how I found the course, my experience with it, a little bit about who the course is targeted for, is it suitable for beginners. I'll also do a little bit of a review of each of the weeks and then I'll give my tips and advice if you're thinking about doing this course and if you have any questions comment them down below I'll try and answer them but for now if you like this video make sure to like it and subscribe if you want to and let's get on to the video So first of all, what is CS50? CS50 is the Introduction to Computer Science and the Art of Programming, which is what they state on their website. It's available online for everyone. It's completely free. The duration of the course is up to you. It's pretty self-paced. On the website, it does say a duration of 12 weeks and around six to 18 hours per week, but that's entirely up to you. You can do more than that or you can do less than that. It is a big time commitment in my opinion. It took me a long time to get through some of the assignments and get through the content. Often I had to watch particular lectures or snippets of lectures again and again to try and understand what they're talking about. Every lecture is super high energy, it's almost theatrical in a sense and you're pretty excited to learn. There's lots of help and support available, there is a big community online, there are so many people that are doing this course and there's so many videos on their website that can help you. So if you get Get stuck you have plenty of support you can also get a verified certificate which is around 90 US dollars I believe and it basically just says that you did the course this course is the exact same course that they teach to Harvard students which is crazy in my opinion that it's free out there for everyone to try and use and learn which I think is amazing I think it's pretty wild how two-thirds of the students that are doing this course have never done computer science before before doing this course I haven't had any computer computer science experience so I was in that boat as well. So in terms of the workload per week they actually did a survey of Harvard students that were taking this course and they approximated that for every problem set it's 10 hours of work per week. So it is a big time commitment but it's definitely worth it to try and practice what you've learned in the lectures. I found that just learning in the lectures and sitting back and not actually practicing versus practicing and trying to do the problems it really engages you and that's really the way that you learn in computer science in my opinion so definitely do the problem sets so the first couple of weeks are relatively easier compared to the last couple of weeks I definitely thought that the first two or three weeks were definitely very manageable I was keeping up with it but as the weeks went on it went zero to hundred real quick it was extremely difficult to keep up with that being said I am a beginner so I I didn't really know what I was doing. Who should do this course? This course is made for a range of abilities, whether you've never done computer science before, which is the boat that I was in, or whether you've done computer science courses before, or you've had a little bit of experience with Python or C, or any other programming languages. This course is really catered to a range of abilities. Each of the problem sets have a less comfortable and a more comfortable version, so if you're a beginner, then you can quite often just do the 
less comfortable version which is often a little bit simpler and then you have the more complex version which you could probably do if you have a little bit more experience. I personally just did the easier bare minimum ones. Is it suitable for beginners? So I had no prior experience coming into this course and I definitely struggled so if you're a beginner then it will be challenging but honestly if you put your mind to it then you can do it as with anything in life. If you put in the time to understand all the concepts and do the problem sets then I think anyone can do this. So my own personal experience with this course was that I absolutely loved it. I think it was great to get into something new that I hadn't experienced at all. I literally had no idea that this whole world of computer science existed. I remember in the first few lectures I was literally blown away at how much I didn't know. Overall I think this course was very well structured. There's lots of help and support available and if you don't understand anything there are little videos that they put in on their website. As I said before the course is self-paced so you can put in as little time as you want or as much time as you want. It's really up to you. So I'm quickly going to break down the contents of each of the weeks. So week zero we focused on Scratch which is a fun little intro into computer science and the languages. You get to be creative and come up with unique ideas. For instance the problem set was coming up with a game and CS50 in general doesn't focus on teaching you any particular programming language. Instead it teaches you how to code so you can definitely apply it to other languages and CS50 really focuses on doing rather than just theoretical understanding which I thought was brilliant because that's really how you learn. You learn by doing and practicing rather than just sitting back or just absorbing the information. In week one we went on to the programming language C. We used a CS50 sandbox which is a virtual cloud-based environment with libraries and tools that are already installed for writing programs in various languages. We learned about source code which is the code that you write and how to turn it into machine code which is what the computer understands. I spent a lot of time practicing and using C. It was definitely very frustrating at times because I would often mess up because I was very new to it all. It definitely took some time. The first problem set was recreating the pyramids in Mario game which I thought was really cool that we could actually do that in the first lecture. Week two we focused on arrays which are responsible for storing variables one after another in a contiguous chunk of memory. In week three we went through algorithms and in the problem set we had to write an algorithm for choosing who wins an election. We went through various search types such as linear search, binary search, what the big O notation is. We basically went through how to sort data in an efficient manner. Week four was definitely when I found that it was getting super tough. We went through pointers. So pointers are an address of a variable or a specific location in the server's memory and you can use these pointers to create different data structures or different ways to organize data in memory. And we learned about Valgrind which is a command line tool that we can use to run our program and see if it has any memory leaks. This problem set was one of my favorites. So basically you took an image and then you applied a filter on it whether it was a black and white filter or a sepia filter or you were blurring it or you were reflecting the image. You could apply all these filters to this image and it was basically like your Instagram filters and how that actually works which I think was really cool because it really had a real world application that I was interested in. In week five we learned about data structures and we learned more about pointers and resizing arrays and reallocating memory. So in this problem set we basically built a spell checker that could be as far as possible. In week six we went on to Python which is what I really wanted to learn about. Python is literally all I heard about before I started this computer science course. To me this was really exciting. So we started off comparing C and Python and how you could do particular things easier in Python but it would take a longer time to run. You could definitely appreciate what Python can do as it's so much more simpler and easier compared to all this jargon that you have to write in C to get like the same result. C was definitely more time consuming and longer and more complex on your screen compared to Python with only just a few lines. This lecture I have got to admit I was kind of lost on. Basically what they did was write a program to search for a particular title in the IMDB database. So like the movie database you know when you google a movie and it's like a 6.7 IMDB rating. That's when you know it's like not 
a good movie. Week 8 was just a recap and it explained the final project that we had to do so we could go into three tracks which was web programming, app development or game development. So I'm currently just doing my final project. It's definitely a lot more work than the problem set so you do have to allocate a big chunk of time to the final project but basically that was the whole recap of the eight weeks. So my tips and advice if you're thinking about doing this course, be committed and disciplined. Definitely make sure that you have enough time to complete this as it is very, very time consuming. Dedicate a set amount of time each week to do it. Practice is key. Definitely learn the material over and over again until it just clicks. Make sure you do all the problem sets. If you get stuck, just leave it for a few hours or a few days and then come back to it. And that's literally what I did for some of my problem sets and it definitely helped me get through them and understand them better. Make sure you understand what you're doing and why you're doing it. So for instance, in the first week, I was literally just writing down the code and I didn't really understand what was happening, but I found that once I knew what each word or step meant, then I could really grasp what was going on. If it's too hard, take some time off and then revisit it. You'll probably find it easier once you come back. Don't give up. So when you look at the first lecture of CS50 on YouTube, there are so many more views in the first lecture than the last lecture. So there are so many people that are just giving up and I know it's super hard and I wanted to give up at some points, but if you just take some time off and then come back to it and just keep on going, keep on grinding, you will eventually get the hang of it and you will understand. If you get stuck, definitely ask for help. As I said before, there are so many CS50 communities on all these social media platforms like YouTube, Slack, Reddit. So definitely ask for help if you need it. I really hope this video was useful for you all. Let me know if there are any other intro level CS classes that I should check out that are online and are free. If you're thinking about doing this course, then definitely just go ahead and start it. It doesn't cost you anything. And I feel like it's a very good learning experience to dive into this world of CS, which was very foreign to me before I started this course. I hope you liked this video. Make sure to like it if you did. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.